Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. And I know it's been a while since I've done an unboxing video for the 10th Gen Civic, but before I get started on what's in this box, I want to introduce you guys to somebody. Actually, you know what? Introduce yourself. What up, guys? <laughs> Jeremy Lukowski, Drag Cartel. Uh, import drag racer, car enthusiast, builder, uh, Nick's buddy, yeah. believe it or not. We've been friends way before all this car stuff. Very legend so he's very modest he's actually a really big deal and if you've been in the honda community you for sure know he's a big deal so anyways back to this um let this, everybody this know what ppg is so PPG uh, is actually an Australian brand for aftermarket transmissions. They're well known for H pattern, uh, dog engagement, and synchro engagement. Dog engagement's a little bit more on the full race side. Synchro engagement's a OEM replacement, 100 times stronger. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with this. So PPG, the brand itself, probably not a lot of guys in the 10th gen market know it yet you yet uh, you're about to well you're seeing it first correct yeah. wait till you see it in action oh yeah because this is just on oh, next car <laughs> <laughs> yeah but getting down to it they realize how big that 10th gen market is and we want to thank all you enthusiasts going out and buying those si's oh yeah you know and going to the meets and the fixing meets. them up modi yeah. modifying 100 percent. i've met Thankfully, I've met a lot of you guys, and that actually helps me when I go to all these trade shows and you know I, I have meetings with Jeremy and just other manufacturers. They ask everybody's opinion on what's the next platform, and thankfully, me and him are able to just yeah, have connect. proof. Oh yeah, we connected, we talked at SEMA, we finalized it at PRI in the PPG booth. Yep. Well, I saw, literally insert the picture here. And. To, in order to get PPG in the United States, it ultimately comes through you. Correct. We're the we are the master. They consider it's called the master distributor. Okay. And I know a lot of you guys are new to the community, especially the aftermarket community. Of this is probably like your first car that you're building. Uh, things take time, especially things like this, because this is there's so much behind the scenes stuff that goes on it and again this isn't even made here it's they're in australia That's correct so there's, there's engineering there's a lot of engineering you know when putting something like this to market you know we're literally simulating this in software right using 3d modeling making sure case fitment of case fits you know we're all we're, we're enlarging the gears right we're enlarging it we're changing tooth profile gear ratio as well which is huge so not even that's something we'll get into as well yeah, that's, gonna, that's, that's a whole that's other a deal whole, but so that's that's, <laughs> that's that's where like you guys have problems putting the power to the ground well this gear ratio one will not only just help keep the transmission happy but also help put the power to the ground to give you guys a basic 101 terminology for that think about what honda did with the 2020 si they changed the final drive, so they made it shorter, so then it's, it just accelerates quicker. It doesn't yeah, necessarily yeah. make more power, but that is the difference with gear ratios. Correct. Inertia. Inertia. Keeping the power as well in the power band, right. right? So that's just like the most common way people always talk about peak, peak, peak numbers. I'm more about mid-range, yep. right? When you shift your car from second to third, you do not want it to fall out of the out of the power band right right so that's where the gear ratio will come into play thankfully i personally have never had any issues with my transmission and i've had this the same one that i got from the manufacturer and as you guys know i've put a lot of stress on my transmission um but you're probably asking well then if i never had issues why am i even bothering with the gear set thankfully from experience and I'm not new to the community. I know inevitable. It's it's bound to happen. Yeah, it's inevitable. It's bound to happen. And I know a lot of you guys have already experienced it. And, and everyone, it's depressing. Every, everyone has a different driving style. Yeah. 
uh, everybody has a little bit different uh, objective power wise and some guys just go for it and they build it until it breaks and then fix it and I feel like Nick did it the other way I think right. you know I've seen some of his dino numbers I can't say right. <laughs> but I feel like Nick ha is, has been real modest uh, of putting the power to, to the vehicle and actually using it. Oh yeah, to, to try to, you know, baby the transmission, yeah. right? Well, like, we have to. Um, we already know, you know, down to putting a stronger clutch, you're just shocking the gear. So it's like, we're babying at the launch and the same thing with stock axles. We just have to, I'm surprised we haven't broken the transmission, especially on the dyno, because I know dynos are really aggressive. Yeah, on the, dry the, track. the dyno. On the pack. pack so yeah. on the dyno pack, it's direct to the hub. Yeah. There's no slip, there's no give. It's hammer down. Yeah, so thankfully I've been fortunate, but like I always tell you guys with just anything, it's if you have a goal and you know you want to push your car a lot more than what it was intended for, be proactive and get the extra insurance, you know, build the motors, build the transmissions. Oh yeah. And you're that only, way you're only gonna enjoy the car more. <laughs> oh yeah. That's the key. It's 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 all blood, sweat, and tears, man. But the first time you put that new motor in or the transmission and you're pouring that torque oil in it oh, and getting ready to take <laughs> that thing outside and pull it out of the garage and piss off your neighbor at two AM yeah. <laughs> That's For the best the, feeling in the world. The first startup moment. You yeah. Guys, you guys it's, know exactly what Yeah, it's the best feeling in the world. Um, and there's no, yeah, this can't even explain it. Yeah. First person to comment the amount of boxes that are in the entire set, you'll get an Oso Sig decal set. Drag Cartel t shirt. T oh, see, I was going to say that, and a Drag Cartel t shirt. So, go. Yeah. Guess right now. Good? Got it? Did you comment? All right. Let's keep going. All right, I don't even Enough know what the penis. I don't know what we'll start, to start I say off. start with the input shaft. Right. So this is the main part, right? So you have the input shaft. On the input shaft, actually first gear to make it stronger is actually straight cut. So normally you'd only normally see a straight cut gear like on a race dog box. So we kind of made it overkill. So this kit right now as it sits is rated for about 800 horsepower. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, and that's probably more than anybody would that's really. Pro probably average of two <laughs> cars combined to yeah. one, right? <laughs> uh, average, I would say, is probably in the 400 range right now. Right. So, and, which is a great number. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But when PPG builds something and we engineer it and spend the time and money, we're going to go for kill. You know, we're going for kill. And, and this says it all right here. It, I know you guys can't feel the weight, but it just, man, this is crazy. So we have the input shaft, so it's, it's a four speed kit. It will utilize uh, our custom gear ratios, one okay. through four. So we have the input shaft. Um, and it also, in, as well in the kit, has a, a reverse gear. Awesome. Um, so it's an upgraded reverse gear. It's part of the shaft because OE grinds it all the shaft. And I was like, you know what? We don't want to put anything back in on the first four gears factory. So we ended up making oh, our own. Okay. So let's open this one up. Then. Yeah. So we can start there. Um, everything's packaged, box, box, and packaged as well. Uh, it gets all gets hot oil dipped. So if you're building your car and you want to buy this kit and it, say it sits for six months, right. no rust issues, you know, oh, okay. nothing like that. That's really the main reason, you know, um, that we do that. So well, I hope it doesn't take me six months to put this in here. Uh, I think six, <laughs> I think six, I, I'd say within the first, first six hours, uh, we'll have this thing fully assembled. Oh, there it is. A lot of the strength comes from the profile. So the tooth count doesn't really change. It's, it's the profile of how the gear is cut how it's angled, and then also the material used. And then if you see this distinct color, it gets uh, a specific heat treat and a rim polish. And that, that makes the biggest surface. And that's, that's why PPG has been around for such a long time, because they take the time to make sure everything will always just, it's like a cookie cutter almost. It, it's gonna work, whether you yeah, give it to somebody experienced or somebody who's just learning, they can figure it out themselves. And, uh, and install it. Yeah, 100%. All right, so then we started with reverse. Let's start with first gear then. Yeah, first gear. 
Yep. So just so you guys know, everything is labeled. And it's not only labeled on the nice box. Internally as well. It is labeled on the pack, the wrapping, the bubble wrap. So that's good because there have been times where I take everything out, I throw the box out, and then uh, I get confused. 100%. So I've done it. There you go. <laughs> I've done it. Uh, I mean, it is such a new platform. So what, normally what I would do is, similar to what Nick's doing, he'll unwrap it, but then I'll, I'll keep this, and then I'll put the gear on top of it. Yeah. Right? So you can reference back. Oh, first gear, second gear, third gear, you know. Right. So, and then there's always input and output. So going back, this is our input shaft. The output shaft is actually the counter shaft that is uh, mating to your ring gear on the final drive. So that part stays OE. Uh, believe it or not, Honda does a really good job with those, with the ring gears. We, we run those things up 800 horsepower, no issue. Um, so... Uh, so the L15 should really be no different. No different. Yeah, I've looked at them. Uh, I've actually looked at it all, and I felt very confident leaving it OE. So first gear is the only straight cut. The rest are helical cut, like factory. Okay. So first gear will be a little bit louder. Straight cut yeah. always is loud, or louder. I it's should like say a, it's like a whining, whining noise. noise. Like never exactly. Heard. Yep. Yep. So. That'll be first gear. Everything else is like factory. It's helical cut, nice and quiet, you know, a little sleeper transmission. Yeah. Uh, but we felt like to get it, the strength there, um, we just felt that it was necessary because that's the, that gear takes the most abuse if yeah. drag racing is. So second gear. Let's open this up. You guys might think all gears are made equal, but no, not at all. But these are definitely still just way, way beefier. 100%. Oh yeah. Okay, so this was second gear. So starting with second gear. I think Nick's gonna need a Hans device. So same thing, man. We got third third gear input output. So third gear input output. Let's start with the input. It's gonna be the same. I mean, it's just same repetitive, you know, box, part number. Um, now, could you accidentally mix them up? Or is it kind of impossible to mix them up? Uh, you, you would probably have a really hard time uh, getting things to mesh up and line up together. I don't, you okay. know. So it's, yeah. But always keep them together so you know which one's which. And they're also part number labeled. You always need a part number. There's also a manufacturer date on there. So oh, nice. uh, we know what batch it came out of, uh, things like that. So, uh, so when you, you know, so like, like anything, it's like your motor, you know, no matter how much you build it or what oil you put in it or how often you change that oil, it needs maintenance. Yeah. Everything needs maintenance. And right? you can correct me if I'm wrong, but the more power you make, the more maintenance is required. 100%. We consider it, we call it to call it preventative maintenance, right. right? It's almost like buying the gear kit. It's preventive maintenance. You push the power, you envelope, you know what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, so. It's so a third gear output. It's little differences, but... So who guesses how many gears are left? Yeah, because he did say it earlier. If you were paying attention, he did say what gears. So now we are in fourth gear. We're here's... in fourth gear doing 150. <laughs> yeah, and this is the input one. So, so how where, where's you... everybody from? I mean, I'm sure we have people from out of state following oh, you, right? Oh yeah, they're from they're, uh, countries. Internationally. Yeah, internationally. Even, even I, better, man. I, I am fortunate enough to answer questions with, from people from like Asia, uh, Europe. Yeah. Malaysia, Singapore. Oh, yeah. You, you UK. Know, yeah. yeah. I've been lucky enough to go out there, and that racing scene is crazy. They, These guys are out there. In they flip -flops. dominate, bro. <laughs> they, they're, they, uh, no holes barred, dude. Yeah. All in. <laughs> All in. They're banging gears, and they have the strong gears, too. They, this, oh, yeah. worldwide. So this is fourth gear input. All right, so this is actually the last but not least right here. So this is the fourth gear output. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. Eight, eight total parts in a kit. Eight total, who eight, guessed eight? Who, eight total parts. But remember, it's the first person that wrote eight and we're gonna send you guys some, some swag. Yeah, man, just make sure to send Nick the DM and he'll hit me up. Yep. Actually, I'll just, I'll just send him home with it. So oh, yeah. he's got it. So I'll have it, That's, I'll, in stock. Yeah, in stock, that's <laughs> the best word. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can count up to eight. You got this. Great, because when you get this kit, that's one thing to look out for is There's make sure eight. it's full. Right, make sure you got the full kit. Yeah. Now you know you're somewhat educated buyers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Yeah. And, and Hopefully we did our job. I hope. Hopefully you don't get tech calls saying, hey, how many boxes are supposed to be in here? Because there's eight. I hope everybody's safe. Yeah. 2020 has been a rough, rough year. Yeah. Uh, and who knows what's next? Yeah. Well, let's bring PPG's back the fun. Next. This is going to make everybody's yeah. fun factor 100% back. Yeah. So thanks guys for watching. Remember, life's also sick. Live it.